What's up, y'all? Rich Slayton here with another great Clash Royale best of three video. I've cast so many amazing, insane close matches with all of CRL and the number of cups that I've been involved in, but this one might be the single closest match. I'm talking game after game after game that I have ever had the pleasure of being a part of. It's from the Queso Cup EMEA playoffs between Hugo and OP Sam. This one was live on stream, so I'm gonna leave that commentary in with guest commentator, guest caster, Mini Minter. It is an absolute banger. Of course, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment below, and hold on just one moment before we get to the action, let's go jump to a quick word from today's sponsor for this video. Ask yourself, when's the last time that you crushed the Demon Lord or ascended the Doom Tower? Faced off against millions of players in the arena? It's been a while? Well, I have the solution to that. It's Raid Shadow Legends. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. And you can get started right now by taking the link in the description below to download the game for both mobile and PC. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 600 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. If you're like me, you love unlocking new characters, and with such a huge stack of characters available in Raid Shadow Legends, that journey pretty much never ends. The thrill of a great shard pull and seeing the exact champion you want summoned and running out to fight for you is one you cannot match in any other game. And on top of all that, Raid Shadow Legends is always bringing new content and new updates. This month, Raids just released a huge new update to the Doom Tower. Two massive bosses to take on, Astrinix the Dark Fae and Bommel the Dreadhorn, along with new enemy balance on tower floors, new secret rooms to discover, and most importantly, new artifact sets to win to max out the power of your characters. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code on screen and you'll get an epic hero, Chonaru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower, plus 200,000 silver, one XP boost, an energy refill, and one ancient shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in-game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here, and get on it quickly because these rewards are only available for the next 30 days and only for new players. It's so easy, just click that link, pop that QR code, and I will see you in the game. You can find me under the name Hail Slate. I'll see you in Raid. That's it, thanks for watching that guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the action. An amazing match between OP Sam and the pride of France, Hugo. Results, um, and just has so much dominance. I mean, anybody, earlier on this year, Mo was 2-0-ing Ruben consistently throughout competitions. Obviously now Ruben's pulled a little, some of them back, but just um, Mo is the perfect player and well, like, considering dedication, skill, and everything into account. But enough about Mo. Right now, it's all about Hugo and Sam fighting for their lives in this lower bracket, Rich. Yeah, this and is an elimination matchup between these two, so uh, I know a lot of people are definitely excited for this one. Uh, Claudio Jenkins saying, I'm so hyped for this match. Um, Bert, I did appreciate your new subscription. Um, and uh, already here saying, I think he's wrong. I believe Rich is the best player and deserves a world championship. Um, I mean, I don't know. I I will be at Worlds like I do every year as a commentator. <laughs> you know um, that that is true. Rich hasn't missed a single World Finals event. That's so, true. You know, you know, if you want to talk about the goats of CR, Rich never missing a World Finals. You so, know, I, I you didn't know. I didn't make CCGS, but every CRO World Finals, I'm there. Yeah, I mean, understandable. Everybody has an off year, you know, sometimes. So you can't make them all, <laughs> but after that, Rich Rich has been everywhere. So definitely somebody to watch for this year. So Lava Miner Barbs, the call here from Hugo. I believe this is the same variant that I'm running, so we should expect some arrows here as the big spell. And with Sam running... Um, wait, Sam's running 2.6? Sam is running 2. I, th I think he was watching the stream, Rich. There's just no other explanation. Sam's running 2. Okay, chat. The deck you want to see, for some reason, the most popular <laughs> deck in Clash Royale, you can make a video on high-level gameplay but if you make a video of an hour of 2.6 ladder play, that will get f f 10 times the views. <laughs> Here you go. This is the deck. Congratulations, everybody who wanted to see 2.6 be played in competitive. Let's see what Sam's got with it in this matchup. And that is the question, because on paper, 
Hugo does not have a spell to get wiped that musketeer off the board. Obviously, he does have that minor arrows. It's going to be interesting to see just how well he protects that musketeer. This um, is... And those big hound defenses. defenses. Yeah, this is, this is somewhat shocking. Um, Cage not in cycle, so Hog gets down. And, uh, man, I, the, the big thing here is, and, you know, people are going to be really excited about it. The big thing here is, again, the arrows most likely being the spell for Hugo, which ain't going to do much in this matchup. Yeah, we'll see once Hugo's able to get one of those big pushes down, which is going to be after this one, as long as that Musketeer doesn't shave too much HP off of that Lob Hound, doesn't look like it is the case. Musketeer is high, so probably going to get picked up by a Miner. And um, that is the case. Air Cannon comes down to protect it. Um, great Fireball going to come down from Sam. There we go. Skeleton Dragon not being able to get hit due to the radius of the Fireball. Musketeer goes down. Sam in trouble here. Sam in a lot of trouble here. Um, this is certainly a, a gutsy gutsy call in this one. And still in the lead, 19, 1190 to 1717. Um, I, am, I am really fascinated to see this one shake out. But of course, as this gets into double and then triple, it's going to get very, very difficult for Sam to maintain these defenses. Yep, 100%. And that minor, very smart call to just ignore that musketeer because he knew it was going to get protected. But now Sam has two of them. And um, I think he's going to be able to end this one out due to just how well he's playing defense, cycling, and protecting the Musketeers. But um, I think I saw it um, in the YouTube chat. Sam does have to win two best of threes, unless I'm wrong, Rich. Um, this is the first round of lower bracket, right? Yeah, but Hugo and um, what's it called? And Lapo made it to the second round of the oh, winner they did, bracket. They did. That's so, right. So, um, yeah, unless they switch something up, I think Sam and um, what's it called? Bale have an uphill battle in these lower bracket. Well, I mean, if you get the, the game one win playing 2.6, I guess I got to wonder what the morale change becomes for your opponent. Hey, it's a Kmart three musketeers here for OP Sam. And uh, wow, one does get taken off the board, but we talked about it before. The difficulty of getting musketeers off certainly playing to Sam's favor. But again, triple elixir against Lava Hound. This is really, really rough for the German. Cannot get the hog connection. And man, 15 seconds left. Does he just spell cycle here and try to play some defense? I think he will get another fireball, but he's got to protect this miner. Log um, in, miner comes tower. down to the back. Ice spear to help. Fireball, does it beat it out? Fireball! Oh my word, by oh, two HP! Two HP, what are you talking about? Two HP, and oh my word, the second slimmest margin by which an SK gaming player has <laughs> lost a match in competitive play. Two HP, are you kidding me? SK does not like comfortable victories, and it leads to very uncomfortable losses. Two HP. Everybody knows that one HP with more in surge in the world finals. Man, that was um <laughs> We called that Sam would get that that second fireball, but that miner from Hugo just very well placed. Skeletons weren't predict predictive of it. Didn't tank any shots and well. Wow, gotta love those those post finishes, Rich. And now Sam Sam is um one leg off the cliff right here. One leg off the cliff and ran 2.6 in game number one. Burned log, burned fireball, two critical cards uh, that fit into a lot of archetypes. And um, guys, that was a, that's about as well as Sam could have played that. And um, 2.6, fun to watch, fun to play, um, really popular. But man, come on, that's uh, that one. Ben saying, speaking of 2 HP, did you comment on the Surgical, Surgical Morton match? Uh, well, Ben, I have commentated every single Clash Royale League match ever played in the West and for World Finals as well. So, yes, I uh, I was there. And, in fact, um, you know... You've you made can, some YouTube shorts on it as well. I did, I did, I've done some breakdowns of that game. You're absolutely right. So, uh, yeah, I, I was live there for that one. Super fun. And, um, man, that was... Uh, this one, though, not quite, not quite that close, but as close as you can get to, to a 1 HP game and not be a mm -hmm. 1 HP game. 2.6, man. 2.6 is not viable, guys. You heard it here. 
2.6 is, we've been saying it for a long time. I know 2.6 is popular. I know Oyasu can beat a lot of people on ladder with 2.6, and it's a great free-to-play deck. It does not it does not really make sense in uh, in competitive play, but man, that was a, a whole lot of fun, fun, fun to, to watch, watch here. It's fun to watch, but um, doesn't get the results that you really need. Yeah, here we go. Game number two. Um, Sam back to the wall here, and Hugo got to be feeling pretty good now. Uh, Justin B saying props to Sam for entertaining us. Absolutely, absolutely right. Um, next up on the Slayton bucket list says Yagit, 3 HP, 3 HP. Yeah, um, the only thing that would make that work even better is if it's Javi or Sergio who goes gets 3 <laughs> HP. Let's see, Hog from Hugo, very aggressive for Sam here, getting damage on the tower, but he's just going to eat this entire Hog right here. Hunter does Hunter to come out up. to clean up, and this is a, you know, you talk about hog variants that are viable, and you go with one of the more viable ones right now. You look at the reasons why, right? You have much better defense for the swarm that's so popular being played right now, especially royal hogs. Um, you know, the, the cannon is kind of dead, right? Cannon just is not super useful in a ton of matchups. So, you know, you have a lot of, a lot of good reasons, especially in dual mode in particular. And then, of course, bomb tower. Certainly nice, especially having a bit of a resurgence right now. And interesting choice from Sam to go, like, totally... It's, I'll say this, people are going to be like, it's not off meta. 2.6 is not meta. 2.6 was meta four years ago. Um, four to five years ago. <laughs> and then going very central with his meta choice here in game number two for Sam. Yep, yeah, Sam definitely going towards his comfort in this one. And, I mean, you can see why getting the tower almost down at uh, half health was a minor... Minor wall breakers that could be forged a little elixir against a matchup that um is not all that well for Sam. He doesn't look like he's got um a building. So um Hugo could bring this one back if he plays well enough defense. Um but it is against one of the best minor wall breaker players in the game and that Valk is not good. Just yeah, it should have held off on it. I see what he was going for with the prediction, but um just didn't work out for him in the end and they ate a bunch of spear goblin shots. Does have that bomb tower with Sam though, so um, it does look like he'll be much more comfortable for the rest of this, of this game. And you know, you see the hog placement there from Hugo, and just basically gave a free defense there to Sam, because he's able to throw the bomb tower way away from the t from the uh, princess tower, and make Hugo play the EQ way up high. So um, that was a, a good sequence for Sam there. Of course, EQ and hog rider damage now with the cycle for Hugo. So very close, 986 to 630. Minor poison gonna come down from Sam just based on the elixir count. Um, good Larry's to catch. I don't know where the poison is, Richard. Okay, so waits a little bit for the poison. Um, this is Hugo's time to outcycle Sam's bomb tower. So we're gonna see a hog rider EQ here. Good archers to take care of the hunter. Very, very nice addition from Hugo. Um, should just throw a hog rider here to try and get that bomb tower down and out. Um, Miner gonna come down, gets caught by the archers. And now Sam's going to try to outside with that bomb tower and try to log the hunter, I would expect, to, to, preserve, to preserve that hog on HP. Preemptive hunter from Sam, and now he's got the bomb tower back in cycle, so... Oh, I guess not. Oh, no, hunter hog gets around. one hit, 404 on the right-hand side to 398, minute 34 left no. as the poison comes down on the pre-archers, oh, no. The downfall of Hugo this game was all the predicts that he tried to throw. The Val the Valk in that one, in that one, um, the archers here just ended up costing him. Um, if he threw an EQ, um, well, let me just, did he have it in cycle or did he use it during the hog attack against the hunter? I think he used it I during used it. during the hog attack. I think he might have like just like clean cycled or like naked cycled it on that one. But man, that was a really again a couple like rough predictions out of Hugo and Sam able to take advantage. So that's a big win there for Sam. Justin B. Um, in the chat saying, uh, I've been only playing CR for a year, however, I've gotten more interested in, in it, therefore I haven't watched too many competitive CR play. What are some common elixir cost decks? Um, it's less about elixir cost and just about what's effective. 
Um, so there are some that are very quick cycle, some that are heavier cycle. If you're looking to search out decks, um, Justin B, there are tons of YouTubers who break down decks, and especially if you're newer, um, you know, I could recommend Cashman as a, a great YouTuber for someone who's a newer player to look at decks that are viable for all different arenas. If you're looking for decks that are more um, that are being more played. Um, for maxed out accounts, um, CWA, of course, makes great videos for all that sort of stuff. Um, Morton's making a lot of great content in both English and German. B-Rad, there's a lot of great YouTubers out there. Um, but especially if you're a newer player, uh, Cashman's a great guy to recommend. And he just hit uh, 100,000 subs on his YouTube channel fairly recently. So that's Cashman with a K, K-A-S-H-M-A-N. Um, if you look up Cashman Clash Royale, you'll find a good one. But of course, all those guys. Um, there's a ton of great Clash Royale YouTubers. OJ makes some great technique videos that are out there. So a lot of fun stuff for you guys to see. Um, if, but for here, my YouTube channel, primarily what you'll see here is, of course, competitive Clash Royale events like this one. Replays um, of some good BO3s that I select from, out, uh, from all over the place. Um, that I give some commentary on, some technique videos, and then some specific deck breakdowns inviting different pros on to uh, give you three or four or five guidelines for how to master a certain deck. So that's sort of the stuff that happens here. But, um, you know, the lucky thing about Clash Royale is whatever you're into, whatever you're looking for, there's a content creator who does that. So uh, you can go ahead and support every different kind of content creator. And, of course, talking about supporting content creators, um, you can either do this with me or with somebody else. But um, a lot of us do have these really cool codes. My code is code RICH. You can go ahead and use that in the Supercell shop for whatever game you're talking about, whether it's uh, Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, Brawl Stars, and uh, that helps us out a little bit too. So if you use my code, great. Otherwise, a lot of content creators have some codes as well. So uh, lots of opportunities to to find great, uh, great advice and great videos and get some support as well. And of course, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right here. And here we go, game number three. It's going to be Bait with Prince up against uh, Mega Knight, most likely Royal Hawks from Hugo. Yep, and it looks like all the things that we expect from Sam in a best of three are coming out in this best of three where his back is against the wall. Um, Bait with Royal Ghost can't tell you for sure if he's rocking it um, with Rocket or not because as we saw in his last best of three against Lapo, he did use it with just um, Goblin Gang um, and Snowball without a Rocket. But Hugo coming out with either the Royal Hogs or just a spam. Looks like it is going to be the Royal Hogs. Bar Barrel, good catch on the barrel behind the tower. Um, let's just see how this one plays out. I think this is going to be OP Sam's time to shine in time for one elixir. Um, because in double, um, Hugo's just going to be really able to, to overwhelm. Mega Knight to the right hand side, Prince in response. Flying machine, that flying machine is going to be. I don't see any response from Sam directly to it um, with the cards that he's shown. Um, maybe we'll see something here. Mm, the, those zappers were also late on the on the ghost. I don't think there was enough elixir. Um, goblin cage from Sam, so he does have structure to deal with those royal hogs, which does improve his defense a little bit. Um, but now time's running out for, for Sam to really make more more of a dent on Hugo's towers. And now, yeah, so we're not going to be seeing a rocket. We are going to be seeing heavy defense from Sam, though. And let's see how he deals with the Mother Witch and all the troops spam behind the Mega Knight here. Cage down early for OP Sam as Hugo cycles the Mother Witch to the right-hand side. Sam is a CRL Western champion and two-time CRL World Finalist with SK Gaming. Hugo, of course, uh, his top performances are winner of Game Stars, which just wrapped up um, the first round of Game Stars was this spring and summer, and Hugo did come out on top of that. And then, of course, two number two finishes with France in international competition. But right here, it's Hugo with the advantage in terms of having the extra life to give. And Sam right now, though, is the one controlling this final game three to see if he can make them force a run back. Going to be hard, though, with the stack happening on the right-hand side. Flying Machine, but look at that Royal Ghost on the left-hand lane. The Ghost has been creating fits so far for Hugo. If Ghost definitely providing problems for Hugo due to the fact that he doesn't have anything cheap, such as an Ice Skull or more um, skeletons or, or anything really cheap to just get an even elixir trade on that royal ghost then due to it being invisible just provides a big problem for hugo to deal with mainly on the side of um 
on the weak tower. And um, this, like, he's given up his mother witch before in, in his first big attack, um, which the ghost got too much splash damage on that mother witch and that's a princess. And two royal ghost hits that hit both Mega Knight and the Knight and the Mother Witch. And um looks like Sam's just got the defense down here, although Hugo does have a bunch of damage on that right hand lane. Fireball. Fireball defense. Yeah. Mm. That's that's all that always tells me that something about your cycle got a little bit messed up there and saved the save the damage, but certainly not where you want that fireball to go. And you can see Sam now stacking up with a lot here. Royal goes to the left hand lane one more time as the flying machine pressures on the right hand side courtesy of Hugo. Prince not going to be the response to the Mega Knight through in this cycle though. Yep, Prince not going to go towards the Mega Knight. I think Royal Hog should come down once Hugo gets to, to 5 Elixir on this right hand lane. There we go. A lot to deal with for Sam. Good Snowball. Let's see if he's got the cage again to stop them. Yes, he does. Rascal's on the left side. Defended by the Zappies. And 30 seconds, Rich. It looks like Sam is going to be able to take it. Although, a fireball will edge up damage if Sam doesn't get any more damage on that left side. Sam goes short with the goblins and doesn't get the damage on tower. 2022. So, fireball cool. certainly a problem right here for Sam. Going to have to go ahead. I don't even think Snowball, Snowball won't make enough room for him to win the matchup. Fireball comes in for Hugo. And Sam gonna oh on the right hand side the dark goblin sneaks through and what? sam takes the razor thin win at no! 5 hp what Five is going HP. on here today Five. wow there is something in the water something in the app because these two guys are playing what that might be just hp for hb the most razor thin matchup we've seen between two players we've seen a three no, a two hp win and the 5 HP win in a best of three. These guys are so evenly matched. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, that's a full-on wow on that one. Wow, 2 HP game number one, 5 HP game number three. Han's calling that one payback time. And um, that was, this is nuts. That was absolutely nuts. The Dark Goblin, that was game over. That was game over. There was The Snowball would, wouldn't, wouldn't do enough to, win the, to, to beat out the Fireball. Uh, the Dark Goblin, I wish we could. I wish we had replay here. That Dark Goblin just snuck right on through to go ahead and take that win. Um, absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And that does it. What a crazy, crazy match. 2 HP for an SK Gaming player, and then to come back and close it out for Sam with a 5 HP victory. Absolutely bananas, and of course, that's why we love Clash Royale. I hope you enjoyed that one. I know I certainly did enjoy bringing it to you guys. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel, like the video. Uh, tell me how the closest match you've ever had. Have you had a 1 HP match, a 2 HP match? I feel like we all have, and that's how we all know what that moment, what that crazy excitement feels like. Thanks again for watching this, y'all. We'll be back with more of these very, very soon. And as always, remember to be excellent to each other.